in this episode, Beverage Hacks. Here's a great hack to get more juice out of your citrus fruits. <laughs> Usually people will juice their oranges like this. They'll cut it in half and then when you juice it, you get about this much juice. That's one side done. I thought that was a squash bug in my hand. <laughs> I nearly flipped out. Oh, okay, it is not a bug. And juice this one up now. Oh, trying to get all the juice out. I think that's done. So I've juiced this one in the way that people usually cut oranges. So now I'm gonna teach you how to cut it the correct way to get more juice out of your fruit. I'm gonna let the eye face you guys and then I'm gonna cut a third off. Oh, this is the world's most bluntest knife. And then I'm gonna flip it around, cut again and again. And then lastly, now I'm gonna juice all these pieces into this glass. This is very messy. There is juice everywhere. I'm turning orange. And there you have it. This is the one that I juiced the wrong way. And this is the juice that I juice the correct way. There is quite a difference, as you can see. And there you go. You can get more juice from your fruit. So say you've got a can of soda and it's been knocking around in your bag or your car or wherever and the gas is about to make it explode. So I have a can with me, I'm gonna shake it up. Ooh, that's tight. That is tight, my friends. So all you need to do is you need to tap the top, you need to tap the sides so that the bubbles will break and it will cause it to not be so explosive. I think you should do this with every can anyway, just in case you don't know what happens and boom. You can also do this with a bottle. I'm going to shake it up. Now I'm gonna tap, the bubble's going down, and then you just very carefully open up the bottle. Done deal. Voila, my friends. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy cold brew coffee at home. If you've never tried cold brew coffee at all, the flavor is freaking amazing. First of all, it is less acidic. It is a lot more smoother to drink and it doesn't leave that awful coffee aftertaste in your mouth. So it, it, it is actually really, really good. So right here with me, I have my fuck long coffee. P-H-U-C, parents, P-H-U-C. It is a very famous Vietnamese coffee brand called fuck long. They might pronounce it a little differently, but I'm Australian, so we would say that's fuck long, mate. They've got heaps of stores everywhere. I'm gonna get my fuck long coffee and then I'm gonna pour it in my mason jar, just like this. So now that I've got my fuck long coffee, grounds in my mason jar. I've just got to add water now. You want to do maybe one to six. This all depends on how strong you like your coffee. Fill it up to the top. Give it a good stir. Close your lid. Put it in the fridge for 24 hours and just let it sit. Okay, now I've prepared one earlier and it is right here. Still not done yet, eh? Now it's time to filter the coffee. You can use anything that will filter out the coffee grounds. I'm using organza because it's a lot tighter, the holes. You need a rubber band. You need to get another container that all this coffee will fit into. Put the organza over the top, then you're gonna pour this into there. Okay, so all the goodness is gonna come out into this container and all the filthy coffee grinds, grounds, coffee bits are gonna be stuck in the organza. Let's hope that I don't spill this. I knew I was gonna spill it everywhere. So now I've got my cold brew coffee all ready to go. So I'm just gonna pour it over some ice and I'm gonna add my sugar and milk and I'm gonna give it a shot. See how good this fuck long coffee is. Doesn't that look cool? Okay, now to stir it. Oh, it looks really good. Mmm, good. Wow, it's damn nice. It's very smooth going down. It's almost like when you go to a proper professional coffee shop, it tastes like that. So with the leftover coffee, you can put it back in the fridge, refrigerate it, and then bring it out whenever you want to drink it. Obviously, you don't want to leave it too long. I don't know what the expiry date is. That one, I don't know. You go and Google that. So what I have in front of me is a very full cup of coffee, okay? Now, I've just learnt this one. Apparently, when you're walking with a full cup of coffee, when you're stirring it, it stops it from spilling everywhere. Okay, so now I'm gonna test it uh, without stirring. Let's go. So when I'm walking, the coffee is swaying back and forth like this and it's almost tipping over. So now we'll try it with me stirring. 
shit. Oh hey, it's a lot easier to walk with. Look at that. When I'm not stirring it, the coffee moves back and forth like this. And when I'm stirring it, when I'm walking, it spins in a circle so it doesn't flow over so easily. Mum, are you listening? This is so much easier. Say you're outside and you have a bottle of drink with you and you want to use a straw, but you're sick and tired of the straw falling inside the bottle. Here's a really cool solution. Why not try bending the straw over the neck of the bottle, put the lid on, and that way your straw is always there. So basically you just got to cap the straw. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> Cap it with the bottle cap. This t-shirt could come in handy with a lot of things actually. <laughs> this one is for all you soda drinkers out there. Okay, so sometimes you get a bit annoyed when the straw keeps floating up and kind of ends up floating out like this. So to prevent this from happening, just pull the tab over, put the straw inside the hole of the tab, and there you go, the tab will hold it in place. Voila! So this one's really good for all of you wine drinkers out there that don't know much about wine. All you have to do is download an app called Vivino. It has a lot of information about wines, but I find the most useful thing about this app is when you push the camera button, you get to take a picture of your wine. Just take a picture of the label and then this pops up and it gives a rating and all the information about where the wine comes from. It also shows you reviews and prices as well, which is great because if you go to a supermarket or you go to some winery or whatever and they're saying, oh, this bottle of wine costs $352 and you're thinking, hmm, I don't even know if it's good or not. Use this app, then you can see if it's good and you can see if you're paying the right amount. Win-win! It's like a wine friend in your pocket. Very, very handy for someone that doesn't know anything about wine. Say you spill some wine on the top, I'm going to use a white top so you guys can see a lot easier of how to remove a stain. So I've got myself some red wine right here, so I'm going to spill it on my top. So once you've stained your top, you do have to act fast because once it sets in, it's very hard to remove. So next thing you want to do is you want to pour the vinegar over the stain, just like this. You can see it all dripping away slowly. Grab some liquid detergent and rub it on the stain. Give it a good rub. And now I'm just gonna rinse it like this. So now I've rubbed off the first layer of the wine. It looks like this now. It's a bit lighter, but I'm still not done yet. Next step is to pour the vinegar again, but this time you're gonna soak it in with hot water as well. You can see it all kind of disappearing now. It smells so vinegary. <laughs> so you just leave it just like that until the stain lifts off. You can leave it for about an hour. It really depends on what kind of stain you have. Most of it's already gone, as you can see, almost there. So it's been about an hour and the t-shirt is pretty much ready. Now, keep in mind, people, that this is a white t-shirt. So it's not gonna go completely. I will admit it. Here is the result. So this is where the stain is. You can see it's still slightly there. So this hack is really good for light colored... Shut up. So this hack is really good for light colored clothes that you can't bleach. So if the stain is really bad and it still won't come out, then I recommend buying a stain remover. And if that doesn't work, then maybe just get a new t-shirt. <coughs> right? Yes. <laughs> So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much. So that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, some of you may or may not know, we've actually started our own merchandise. See, I designed this t-shirt. It also comes in other colors like teal and pink. And then there's also, Chenin oh no, bugger. And there is also Chenine in gray, black and white. So go check out tandemmerch.com to find out what else I've also designed. It's not just t-shirts, there are other things too. You can follow me on Instagram at rjt99 and if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos one month before they come out on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Mwah. Ding! <laughs>